Well, the heat is starting to build again across the Upper Peninsula, and we are seeing more clouds and even a few rain showers across the area. And we'll notice more of them throughout the overnight. A very few thunderstorms, but by tomorrow we could even see a few more uh, thunderstorms into the region. It's going to be a very small chance during the afternoon. Rain chances will be the best during the morning, but all of this will head out of here, and this will be the first wave of moisture that we will deal with throughout the weekend. There is another one coming in on Sunday that looks to be a lot more wet. 73 degrees for our current temperature as we are at seeing southwest winds at 12 miles per hour. So that has brought in a little more of that humidity and also the dew points back up into the 50s. So we'll notice more of the humidity throughout the uh, weekend because of this southwest wind continuing on. And as we take a look at temperatures elsewhere for us here in Marquette, we are at 73 degrees off to the west. Temperatures just a little cooler in Ontonagon at 71. Holton, you're at 66 degrees, 73 in Crystal Falls and sitting at 74 in Ironwood. And for us in the eastern locations, as usual, we are a little cooler. 66 in Munising and at 72 in Escanaba. 73 for you in Iron Mountain. Four hour current winds coming in from the south and the southwest. 14 miles per hour for us in Escanaba and at 10 in Houghton. So a little breezy out, bit out there, but not really too terribly windy. And as we take a look at our temperatures across the entire state, we are really beginning to pick those numbers back up at 78 in Oscoda, 77 down in Grand Rapids, and at 74 in Manistee. So We'll continue to see maybe even 80s by tomorrow in lower Michigan, but we could even be looking out for more clouds into the upper peninsula. That's why temperatures should be able just to reach the upper 70s instead of the 80s as some are projected to. But dodging the showers and storms throughout the weekend as temperatures will begin to cool off again, and we're going to be noticing a very cool air mass making its way in by the beginning of next week as highs will drop off a bit on Sunday, but really start to feel a little cool by Monday and Tuesday. But not much summer as we head into the next work week. As I was telling you, we are going to be continuing to see that cooler air mass in place, and that will keep highs most likely for a lot of us in the 60s. But as we take a look at our setup, Showers and storms just to our west will continue to make their way in throughout the overnight and for tomorrow, seeing those chances during the early portions of the day. Cooler and windy air start to, or cooler and windy conditions starting to make their way in by sometime late Sunday with that next rain chance. But as this first area of low pressure pushes out of here, it will provide this very small uh, chance of a shower or two during the morning. And you can see right here, we should be clear by the time we make our way into the afternoon. But this will be the weaker disturbance. As we take a look at our future cast model, you'll see that the first round of rain showers make their way out of here, partly cloudy, partly cloudy throughout the day on tomorrow and then by tomorrow evening and going into tomorrow night. Here comes the next wave of moisture. Very heavy rainfall pushing in and we'll see that make its way out of here by sometime Sunday afternoon going into early Sunday evening before becoming mostly sunny again. For us tonight, 62 for our overnight low, muggy with the showers around the Beering area. Southwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tomorrow is going to be a muggy one for us. West southwest winds between 10 to 15 miles per hour. Seeing the early rain and the humidity is going to be up there, but then start to decrease a little bit as we head into the overnight with a slightly uh, cooler air mass by tomorrow night. But look at the highs back into the 70s for us and loss, even reaching the 80s a little farther south. Crystal Falls at 74 degrees, Florence at 84, and for us and Marquette will be at 77. Let's go ahead and take a look at our seven day forecast. A couple of days of rain and look at that. Temperatures really drop off by Sunday as we'll only make our way into the lower 60s for highs and we'll still be in the lower 60s by Monday before a slightly warmer air mass does try to push its way in by next Tuesday and Wednesday.